Ozarks RV Resort on Table Rock Lake. It's very fancy, very fancy. So pulling in to the Ozarks RV Resort. Campground. It's an owner owned campground. Like people own the, the spots, but you they rent them out. So you just have to go online and rent them. But they're pretty pricey. The one we stayed on was $75 a night. It was the only one open since the campground we wanted to go to was flooded. On the outside loop. These spots are right on the lake. Lots of nice campers. Very nice campers. This is the upper crust of the campgrounds. are all still lakefront sides and some of them are for rent. Some people don't rent them. I think the lakefront sites are $95. Yeah. Everyone that's anyone has a golf cart. I'm not anyone or everyone because I don't have one. That's okay. I have a nice camper, a nice husband, nice family. I don't need a golf cart. Or two cup two golf carts. Well exactly. So these sites down here I think you have to have a motorhome to park in them. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It was a weird white camper. Some people built on little decks and patios and waterfalls to make their campsite personal and lovely. There's a, a rich person. Well, I don't know if they're rich, they have a minivan. So coming around, we're just doing the outer loop campground. We've got all the motorhomes. And it goes up goes up there, a couple streets go up. Ooh, we missed that. The lake. There's the lake. There's a little guest dock at the campground that you can pull your boat into or park your boat on the guest dock. Oh yeah, and there's a little golf course that goes around it. A little three, nine hole, par three. So there's the just going on up around the outside. There's a couple streets on the inside. This is the poor side of the campground. People with less than $100,000 motorhomes are in this over here. We're on a poor site too, but it's still lovely. There's also a pool and some shower houses. I think we'll pull into there and check that out. So walking in, lots of pretty landscaping. It's a pool the owners and the guests can enjoy. Not very big, but refreshing. Mm. Oh. Nice and white. Bright and open. Oh, there I am. So let's see what's inside one of these. Oh, look, a shower. How convenient. Shower floor, not too bad. Not too bad. I think this must be a sauna. 
Yeah, I don't even like saunas. So I don't know if there's any sinks in here, I guess. Oh, there's a toilet. So they have it all. Sinks, toilets, and a sauna. It feels like a sauna outside. So walking around. There's a big slide on that Class C. That's the biggest slide I've ever seen. And there's the men's. I don't care about the men's. Hello. And we have social distancing since we're in the pandemic. And the washers and dryers. Not a lot, but enough. Get out and videotape one of the sites that someone's not on today that they've enlarged. Put their stuff on. So this is one of the lakefront sites. There's the golf course, kind of destroyed right now, but they'll get it all pretty, prettied up, I'm sure, before the season's over. So this is one person's site. Remember, there's that other hole. So that's... earlier there's a nine hole three par golf course this is the only hole that's open it's very nice because of flooding at table rock lake in 2020